there, everyone. We're still here at the Square Enix booth, and now I'm having the distinct pleasure of talking with Kyle, who is the community manager of uh, Idos Montreal. Kyle, how are you doing today? Good, good. How about you? I'm all right. We're going to talk to you now about uh, De Deus Ex, so De Deus Ex, because uh, well, Deus Ex is awesome, and the newest chapter just came out. So, I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about where this takes place in the Deus Ex uh, timeline. Sure, it takes place in the year 2027, uh, which is about 30 years before uh, Deus Ex 1. I think Deus Ex 1 took place in the year 2054, 53. People are going to kill me if I get that wrong, but I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's a t time of chaos and conspiracy. Uh, Nanites haven't really happened with augmentation, so it's really the kind of mechanical augmentations that uh, we saw with Gunther in the first one. And so, uh, in, the in this game, you play as Adam Jensen, who is a security special with specialist with Seraph uh, Corporation, and they're a biotech firm, and they specialize in these me mechanical augmentations. In the game, uh, Adam hasn't really decided how he stands when in regards to augmentations, whether he's for them or against them, and uh, he has he's forced to decide because of an incident that happens early in the game where he is the augmentations are thrust upon him and he has to find out what happens uh, why and then he gets goes all over the world and there's a whole bunch more but I'm not gonna talk anymore so <laughs> I could sit here all day nice now the great thing about Deus Ex of course is uh, weapons what kind of new uh, abilities and different you know tactics are you gonna be able to use in this game well one that we show off in the trailer here is with the uh, crossbow how that automatically adjusts uh, for like you know with the aim and everything and the and the, the height that you're at so you aim and it automatically targets and it'll automatically adjust uh, a little bit lower and you have to aim up and then you can get a headshot perfectly on him. Uh, as far as augmentations go, we haven't revealed a whole lot about that so uh, we're going to try and wait a little bit. Very cool. Now another uh, thing is, it, obviously it's a prequel as you mentioned, how hard is it to work into the canon of Deus Ex as a prequel as well as create new weapons and new technology while still being true to the canon? Well, uh, we did work closely with the original writer of Deus Ex. Uh, we also had a team of writers that wanted to kind of establish the, our own identity with the game while, while paying as much respect as possible to the original one. We did we, we, uh, work closely with the uh, Deus Ex Bible as well. That was everywhere, I guess. So uh, people don't need to worry about us cashing in, as, as some people might say, on the Deus Ex franchise. Everyone there loves it. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's so much there. Um, there's, it won't be exactly directly tied in. It, this won't segue completely into the new Deus Ex, but there are some connections with the old one. So if you look closely, you'll find it. Uh, some are a bit more blatant than others, too. Very cool. And for what systems can we expect it out on? PC, Xbox, and uh, PS3. Or Xbox 360, not the original Xbox. Of course. And uh, when will it hit store shelves? Uh, we're looking at an early 2011 release date right now. We'll be announcing something official very soon, hopefully. Awesome. Kyle, thanks for your time, man. Yeah, thank you very much.